I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm Yos Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about Dota, Dragon's Blood. It's a new Netflix anime. It's based on the game Dota 2, but I've never played it, so I'm coming in fresh. There's only eight episodes. This one is called Book 1, so I'm assuming everything else is Book 2 and 3. Uh, it follows Davion. He's a dragon slayer. Uh, he goes around and kills dragons because a dragon killed his family. Um, he notices early on that there's this dragon that's sleeping underneath this town, and he doesn't want to mess with it because he knows it's like a big-time dragon. The first dragon he fights is kind of small compared to this other dragon, so he's he's chill. Um, there's this demon named Terrorblade. He's trapped in this world, and he's trying to get out, so he manipulates humans to do his bidding, essentially. And he gets one guy to go and fight the dragon. And his goal is to steal the dragon's soul so he can create the world that he wants. You don't get a lot of Terrorblade in this show until, like, the final few episodes, but he's mentioned in the first episode. Then you have these this princess... She's on the quest to find these stolen lotuses that was taken from her her village, and she also has an assistant who doesn't talk any that doesn't talk at all, but is really deadly. I honestly wish we got more backstory about her. Uh, but you follow this group, Davion, Princess, and Marcy, and Davion is trying to figure out what's going on with him after he encounters the big dragon. Um, he goes through some type of transformation, and it's messing with his mind. He doesn't really remember things and he changes into a dragon. Don't know why, um, but he's trying to understand it. So they all go on this journey trying to figure out what's going on and it reminds me of Castlevania and Dragon's Dogma. Just the, the animation style and the violence and the blood that you see which I really appreciate in a show like this. You know, they don't hold back, you know, when dragons are killing humans or when humans are killing humans. It's very violent uh, the princess uses a bow and arrow, and she has this connection with, with, with Marcy, where Marcy will whistle, and she can shoot her arrows, and it curves through the air, and it's just hitting people in the face, and I like the action in the show. Um, again, the story is telling all these different stories, which eventually come to head in, like, episodes seven and eight, where everything just meets up with, you know, with one another, and it's it can be confusing in the beginning, because you're like, who is this person? Oh, is this a flashback? Who, who is this person? Um, are they important? So don't get attached to characters too much because, you know, people die. Uh, but for a first season, it's interesting. It's cool. It, it keeps your attention because they're constantly on the run from something, whether it's a dragon or another person. Um, and then you have, like, these secondary characters that are doing their own thing, but eventually they cross with Davion and everything that they're doing. So Dota, Dragon's Blood, for a first season... It's watchable. It's enjoyable. I would recommend watching it if you enjoy Castlevania or if you watch Dragon's Dogma. Um, it's something like that in that vein. Uh, again, adult cartoon, a lot of violence, decent story. Um, don't really know about Dota too much, so I don't know if this is everything that's in the game, so don't ask me. But if you play the game or if you watch the show, please let me know what you thought about it. Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. Deuces.